Welcome to Little Canada Beach House. So I just arrived in Diani and when I say I, it's because Tracy has been here since Wednesday and I think this house is very nice. So I'm excited to show you this house. I'll tell you the story behind it later, but welcome to Little Canada Beach House. I said that in the pool. Oh, shoot. So let me give you a tour of this beautiful house. You come inside, there's a bathroom there. But what I like about it is it's fully open concept and there are a lot of fans, which you currently need in this season in Diani, that is for sure. So we're gonna come over here we have a dining room. We have a kitchen here, thanks to Cynthia, who is making us amazing food. <laughs> we have a living room here, and then one of your bedrooms downstairs. It's a little messy, because I've been here since Thursday, as he said. Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. Actually, go check out that vlog if you want to. <laughs> Shameless self-plug. Um, <laughs> come back here, you have a massive wardrobe area, a vanity there as well. And bathroom, oh, I just realized this is really bad. <laughs> Rainfall shower, this is an amazing shower for the coast, like absolutely amazing. So yeah, we did figure out, we are here during a massive blackout, that they have solar on the top and the only thing that runs on the actual power is the ACs. So with solar, we still had all of our fans, all of our lights, so it really wasn't that bad at all. Now let's go see upstairs. So. Upstairs, you have two bedrooms, which are basically copy-paste of what we have downstairs. I'll show you one of them, our friends in the other. This one is a two twin bed configuration, can be pushed together to make one bed, and then the other one is a queen bed there. But you even have your own little living area here as well. Massive coach. By the way, this coach is so comfy. I have noted that. Huge TV, if you had an HDMI cable too, you could hook that up. And then you have a little bar area there. This makes my heart so happy. Any Canadians recognize these? You will, that's all. <laughs> but something that's unique to upstairs is you have access to a massive balcony. This balcony spans the length of the house. So you can access it from each bedroom on either side as well as the living area. Plenty of furniture to come outside. Have your morning coffee up here. I love it. So back down onto the main area, we have a seating area outside, which we've been having our lunch at because it's beautiful. And like I said about the fan, so Diani right now like has zero wind. As you can tell, it's still sweating. Um, but they have fans in each section even outside. So you get a nice breeze out here. And honestly, I haven't felt that overwhelming heat because the fans have been going on. That's that. Um, outside you have sink, you have barbecue. Down here, you even have a pizza oven. We might try and do that out later. I'm just, I'm not really sure. And then you have a pool. And this pool is such a warm pool. <laughs> you can get in it day or night and it's not too cold. So I think it's perfect. Oh, I haven't said it's perfect or not. It's perfect. There's a path right here, right outside the gate, and that leads directly down to Diani Beach. So you are on the main Diani Beach. But we're gonna show you that a little bit later because as usual, we have a lot of cool things planned. So for supper, we have fresh prawns that came from the fishermen this afternoon um, with some veggie and rice. And one thing I've been loving about the meals here, which you will see, is Cynthia is very good at having a very balanced plate and that is fantastic. For lunch we usually have like chicken and salad, breakfast is fantastic, what more can you want? But right now we have melted butter. So it is bedtime 
first impression so far. I really like this place. Trace has been there for a while. Like she, she pretty love much it. lives here now. Love um, it. I do appreciate the AC. Yeah. I love sleeping with an AC in the room. So go to bed because early morning tomorrow, a day full of adventure. Are you ready? I'm ready, but I gotta sleep first. Good night. See you in the morning. Good morning, an amazing night of sleep. It is a little early, 6.30 in the morning, but you can also come on top of the building. I'm not sure if you're supposed to, but the door wasn't locked. So yeah, beautiful view of the sunrise. So now, quick breakfast and we're out for the day. So this house is on a beautiful compound about five minutes from the Yukunda airport. And well, there's a few plots still available if you're looking for a house. Number 16 could be yours, or maybe you prefer number four, eh, whatever you want. So we just arrived in Boda Village and we're gonna do a Dao Safari today, but it's very different than your tissue traditional it's more Dao like safari. a sea adventure with a few stops a few islands that we have never been to and so more I'm pretty excited cultural conservation yeah. that type of thing so today we are doing this with funzi kinazini day safari i'm gonna link Got them it. down below and put them on the screen probably <laughs> just in case my pronunciation is not good we're actually probably like less than 30 kilometers from the tanzania border mm. um i don't know if we're gonna be lucky weather wise it's probably <laughs> gonna rain but you know what it's part of the adventure. Oh, it's an adventure otherwise so we brought our friend um we also have like dennis and his wife they're the mm -hmm. two people who organized everything uh today that you're gonna see so that's very nice thank you to them and three german tourists who by the end of the day are either gonna be our best friends or hate me with my bubbly personality and my big camera we'll see so before going on the boat we're going on a little a bush walk uh, by the beach to see some mangroves learn about crabs and things like that there's literally thousands of mini crabs just running around in this part of the beach it's crazy So we've just walked through some of the mangrove area and behind me is actually where they are planting more mangrove trees. So back in the days, a lot of houses and boats were actually built with the woods from the mangrove, but it is no longer allowed because the mangroves are actually in danger here in Kenya. So that's a very good thing that the government did, but sadly, there's still people at nights coming and cutting the mangroves uh, to build different things. So the villagers here decided twice a week, they come to this beach and plant new mangrove and hopefully to regenerate uh, this part of the beach, which would be amazing. They're doing some good work here. Tracy, thank you for planting a mangrove. Welcome. Good job. I'll try and do what I can. <laughs> so now we are taking a little boat to the Dal. This is our guide, Antonio, Hi, who Antonio. speaks English, German, Swahili, German, German, Italian, and Polish. <laughs> and Polish. <laughs> yes. It's very, very impressive. Add another one. Welcome to the Dal. That is by far the biggest Dal we have ever been on. Nice. And it's covered, which is a good thing because it might rain today. Fingers crossed it won't, but it's hot. First stop, Funzi Island. You gotta be very careful where you walk. There's like massive holes, apparently because of the crabs. So, yeah. So Funzi Island is one of the closest islands that uh, Kenya has to the Tanzanian border. Like I said earlier, there is 3,500 people living on this island. 2,000 chicken, there's a chicken farm, and so far one goat. I've seen one goat. 
So here's the community is mainly fishermen, they're 100% Muslim and fun fact back in 2008 they didn't have much on the island but somebody from the UK came noticed that and decided to build a, a clinic and a school which are completely free through the Funzi and Bodo Trust. I think. I'll, I'll put it somewhere. So this here is Moringa. I think it's used for blood pressure as well. Um, but what you do is you chew it. Oh. It's a little bitter. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Takes a little bit. Takes a little bit. Here, swallow it. Oh. Oh, that's bitter. Uh, super sweet. That's so weird. It changes, you get water after and it changes the taste of it in your mouth. Well, cool stuff. We learn stuff every day. So this baobab tree behind me is over 600 years old and fun fact, most villagers, whoa, I just, I just walked in poo. Oh well, so some villages here don't have mosquito net, but you can actually take the baobab fruit and burn it and it produce some sort of like mosquito repellent, so that's cool. So they also have like a little village market and 25% of whatever you buy goes back to the community for the clinic, schools and things like that. Tracy, what did you buy? I bought a little basket. It's pretty nice. Yeah. A little bit of French. French, maybe it's small. A little bit. Yeah. I speak French too. French, good That's French. Awesome. Yeah, good French. Okay. French is my first language. Okay. Thank, thank you, you so much. Okay. Thank you. See ya. Jumbo. 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 So we just got out of the village school. There was like so many kids, way, way more than what I expected. And they're actually currently uh, learning Arabic because again, it's a Muslim community. And they sang a few songs for us. And fun fact, they, they sang one song in French that my grandmother used to sing to me when I was a kid called Frère Jacques. I was very surprised by that. Here's another fun fact. Most of the houses here are actually made out of coral bricks, which are just harvested in the ocean. Interesting. So we just arrived at a sandbank for a little bit of swimming and it's going to be nice because it's really hot. It is so hot. You can either take the water taxi or you can just jump in and swim. Tracy, jump. Okay, go. That's her cue. Go. One, two, three, go. <laughs> It feels so good to be in the water. It's so like humid and hot. Whew, this is paradise. So I've seen this in Zanzibar before, but I've honestly never seen it in Kenya. Um, on this little sandbar, they actually have a huge seaweed farm and they farm this um, and it gets used for perfumes and soaps. Also, the rain finally caught up to us. It's coming. Oh yeah. It's coming. We made it back to the boat, but the current is like really, really strong. I was like swimming beside the boat and not going anywhere. <laughs> Welcome to lunch.
So to end off our amazing meal, we have some was it Turkish coffee? Arabic coffee. Arabic coffee. Yeah. So really strong, along with a sweet date, just to balance it out. Yep, that's strong. <laughs> <laughs> it's good though. <laughs> it was delicious, by the way, especially the, the fruit salad. What was in the fruit salad? Why is it so good? Cardamom. Cardamom. Oh, yeah. Cardamom. Ah, that's, oh, that's the secret. <laughs> that was the best fruit salad I've ever had. The secret, cardamom. Tracy, how was the lunch? Very good. Like probably one of the best Dao lunch yeah. in an island. That and that fruit had. salad. Mm. Yeah, the fruit salad was the highlight. <laughs> So instead of getting back on the Dow, we're actually staying in our small boat and we're gonna go out to the river. I hear there's crocodiles there and kind of tour around the mangrove some more as well. Now we are on the lookout for crocodiles. about to hit us again. We'll get some punchos. Tracy, you look very good okay. in your puncho. I thought so. <laughs> very great. So we are back in the Dao Sally. We didn't see crocs, but trust me, it's still worth it to go on that little uh, river cruise and like boating around the uh, the mangrove. It's actually really beautiful. And apparently on this Dao, it didn't rain, even though we were just like there. Rain there, not here. Missouri <laughs> So it is time to go back to the little Canada house. We are back on the shore and it was such an interesting day. Very different than your, than your normal like a Dow day where you just go snorkeling, drink a beer, go snorkeling again and back to the shore. So that yeah. was very cool. Like, learned a lot today, yeah. that's for sure. Even though we didn't see crocodiles, it was super interesting to go to the school and see the yeah. village and everything. Like, I'm a fan and yeah. the food was really good too. Very good. And we have a lot of fans there. <laughs> Tracy, the entire bus is waiting for you. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. Nice and fresh out of the shower. That's my new Mickey Mouse button-up shirt that Tracy just got me, and I really, really like it. But it's time to thank today's sponsor, Gentle Bend. Uh, long story short, about two months ago, I actually lost my wedding bend. Don't ask me how, but I'm, I was very sad about it. But I went on their website and I was able to find one that was very, very similar. I ordered it and I just received it. First of all, let me tell you that the packaging looks really premium. Like I really like this metal box and let's open it. I didn't, I didn't look at it yet, so this is the first look. Okay, see, it really looks like what I had before and this is basically why I picked this one. Yes, true to size, it fits. Tracy, it fits, fits super well. So the ring that I chose is called the Silver Lining and it's made out of tungsten, a very, very good and durable metal and it feels very comfortable on my finger, I have to say. Gentle Ben is also bringing back true craftsmanship. It even comes with a certificate of craftsmanship with a serial number, the date it was done and the person who actually created it. Thank you, John Lee. So no matter your style, make sure to check out their website because they have tons of different rings. And no matter if you want to give a present to somebody you know, or maybe a little present to yourself, make sure to use our link down below. Use code Dave Manny to save 25%. Once again, the link is going to be down below and 25% with code Dave Manny. What you waiting for? Christmas is coming. So tonight we're eating at Shashinka. <laughs> um, I hear it's a sushi restaurant and we're gonna see what they have because I am so hungry and if they have sushi, I'm gonna be very happy.
we've got Rainbow, we've got Dynamite, we've got some Diani Sunrise something something. It looks Johnny delicious. Mm. I feel very good. good. So Shushinka, Shanshinka, Shunsh, the restaurant that we've been, it was really good. The sushi was fantastic, yeah. like really, really good. Nothing, it's not a fusion, like it's just straight sushi yeah. type thing. Like but typical like Japanese sushi and yeah. I really enjoyed it. And you get a lot for your money. Yeah, so you, you get, get the salad, sorry, yeah. you get the salad, you get the miso soup and you get like two pieces of fruit for dessert. Yeah, so it's so really good. a little bit more, yeah. but you don't pay more. I like that. Yeah. So uh, we're tired oh, because, um, yeah, under the sun all day. <laughs> so we're gonna see you guys in the morning. We still didn't see the beach, so. Oh yeah, we gotta show you that. Yeah, that's true. Okay, Bye. okay, good night. <laughs> because honestly the pool is fantastic. You're right on Diani Beach. So the beachfront for the main Diani Beach is only about 100 meters from your front door. You guys remember on the first day during Tracy's uh, house tour, there is a pizza oven. And if you think that I'm gonna leave this place without making pizza, well, you're wrong. So we're gonna go uh, for a little walk to the grocery stores to buy some cheese and salamis and pepper, onion, and everything you need to make pizzas. And well, it's pizza day, guys. Got my bag and we're going for a walk. So here's the importance of bargaining in Kenya. So I just got a dress. On Friday when I went by and was looking at it, as I was walking by, she was like, a thousand. So I was like, okay, yeah, like that's a decent price actually. I'm okay with that. It's like, I'll come back in a couple days. Came back today and she said 2,500. I was like, huh, no. I was like, I came back and you only told me a thousand. She's like, but you have to bargain. <laughs> so at the end of the day, I basically just, I got it for a thousand, but just know you can bargain with prices. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Lately, we've been meeting you guys everywhere. Walking around, buying stuff on the side of the road, going to the grocery store, picking up our food and stuff. This really makes me dream of what our lives could be here, living in Diani under the warm sun with the nice people and the ocean just down the street. Ha! Huh. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, that was good. But next time, less hot. It's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Thank you so much. It was great. Hey, the pizza was amazing, by the way. Yeah. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you. So little Canada Beach House. It was absolutely fantastic. I think it has everything you need for no matter the type of traveler that yeah. you are. And especially like if you go with your family or have like a bigger group or whatever. Yeah. Pool, beach, pizza oven. Restaurants really close, groceries down the street. Tons of stuff to do. Yeah. So big fan. It goes for about with the, all the Airbnb's fees and cleaning and whatever. Yeah. $407 USD per night right now. You're don't quote me. Yeah. No, no, USD. Okay. okay. So don't quote me on that, but I'm going to put their link down below. Also for the activities that we did, same thing. Everything's going to be down below. And otherwise, see you guys in the next one.